Hello everyone, hope everyone's having a great day. I'd like to show you how to use a flexible reusable concrete shaping form to make your stepping stones for walkways and patios. Here I am setting up the form to the size and shape that I'm looking for. That's looking good. I'm using these anchor pins here now to hold that shape. Moving that dirt around. Alright, that looks good. Now I'm ready to put my uh, concrete in it. Now I'm going to be putting in a dry mix. Here I am adding a 50 pound bag of dry mix. Yeah, that's looking good. This form will hold too. Alright, I'm leveling out the top. Now I'm adding the amount of water that's required for uh, 50 pounds worth of uh, concrete. Here's the kind of consistency that you're looking for. It's like a thick peanut butter. You can still see there's water on the top there. It's pretty moist. And you can mix it right in the form. Here I am now leveling out the surface, making it nice and smooth. Start tapping the surface. That helps bring the water to the surface and that makes it nice and smooth. If you don't do this, you're gonna have a rough stone. So the more you work the surface, the smoother it's gonna get. And this is the time too you when you want to start adding your colors and you can blend your colors into the uh, surface of the stone. I like using two or three colors when I do my stones. All right, that's looking pretty good. I like that. All right, now it's time to remove the form. I'll do this gently. You'll have no problems. And if you do, you can always fix it. All right, here I am removing the anchor pin. Got another pin right here I want to remove. All right, just give a little jiggle. It'll loosen right up. And there you go. And you're done. Now I would like to show you another way to make stones. The pre-mixed way. Putting my anchor pins in, holding the form to the shape that I'm looking for. Now you can make any shape and size you want. This is the size I'm using right now. Here's some of the items that you'll be needing. Now here's my pre-mixed concrete, which I mixed in a tub over there. Now I'm uh, putting it right into this form. And it does look like I'm using a lot of concrete in this form. That's because there's something I want to show you. So I'm putting it all into this form. Trying to get it all out of that tub there. All right, I don't want anything getting hard in that tub, so I'm scraping it all out. Really uh, putting a lot of concrete in there. Now, I like using the Sacrete 50 pound fast setting uh, concrete mix. A 50 pound bag is nice. You can put two bags in this form here. About 50 pounds is a lot easier to carry than uh, an 80 pound bag. Now I'm just moving the concrete around. Now what I want to do is, this is what I want to show you. Even though you started the project, you can still open the form and make changes. Putting my anchor pin in there to hold the form. Now I'm spreading out the uh, concrete. Yep, there, I need an anchor pin right there. There we go, now we're all set. Now you can see how the anchor pin holds the form in place. Just moving the concrete around, that's all I'm doing. Now you want to make sure that the concrete is the same. The stone here is the same height as all the other stones. You don't want one stone higher than the other. So that's all I'm doing right now is just moving the concrete around, leveling it all out. And you can see by uh, moving the concrete around and working the surface, you can see that it's starting to get more wet. The moisture is coming to the surface. Now if you need, you can always add more water because you want a nice wet surface. Now tapping the surface like this, this is what you want to do. Tapping the surface brings the moisture to the surface. This is what makes the, the uh, top of the stone smooth. If you don't do this, you're gonna have a rough stone. You don't want that. So just keep tapping it. And that's what you want when you start adding your color. Here I am now adding my color. Now I'm just doing a surface color. I'm going down about a half inch into the stone. There's no need to go through the whole stone, not unless you plan on breaking the stone in half. So I'm just doing the top half inch layer of the uh, stone. Rubbing it in, mix it in good. 
And by doing that, again, I'm still bringing moisture to the surface, which helps uh, with that coloring. Now, I like using two or three different colors because real stones have multiple colors. So I'm just working it in, getting into the edges there, the corners. It's looking good. Just patting it down. Now, don't uh, do use bare hands. Use gloves. Don't do what I'm doing. Or use your trowel. Move it around. All right, now I'm going to remove the form. I'm taking out my anchor pins. Now, you just be gentle. You're no problem. Just a little shake there. A little jiggle. There's the shake. There's the jiggle. A little shake there. And the form will come right out. And if you have any problems, you can always fix it later. Now, here I am touching up the sides. And you can still work the stone. Because now's the time to work it. Once it hardens, you can't do anything with it. That's it. So you have plenty of time to work with it. Here I am smoothing out the surface. Now I'm still bringing the moisture up. It looks like I need a little bit of color there. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more color in that area. Not much. I'm just going to mix that in. Just keep working it. Save a lot of money doing surface coloring and not the whole stone. You don't need to buy so many, uh, so much color. There, now I'm just taking out the fingerprints because real stones, they don't have fingerprints in them. <laughs> so here I am working the edge there. Trying to open up that space between the stones. That's it. Take your time. No hurry. There we go. That's looking good. Looks good. Right. Taking out some more of those fingerprints. It's looking good. And that's what I'm looking for. That's perfect. And now you could do this. This is easy. This is not hard. Try it. I hope you enjoyed watching this unique way of creating beautiful garden stepping stones. Please like and share with your friends. Subscribe and take care. We'll see you soon.